Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to quickly and easily edit one video for multiple social media platforms. So when working in social media, especially as a freelancer, we're often asked to post the same video across multiple platforms. Now taking one video that is fit for YouTube or Facebook isn't necessarily the best video to fit to TikTok, but if you have to do it, you have to do it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily edit one video for multiple social media platforms. With that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using is called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D and click on the first link. If not, I'm going to be putting the links in the description as usual. So once you're in Veed, if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new account for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just going to click on the new project button in the top left. Now we're in Veed's video editor. We want to upload the video that we want to edit for multiple social media platforms. So here I click on the upload button and then I'm just going to select my clip. And as we can see, now I have my clip in Veed's video editor. If I click play. Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed just to make sure that it's a video and it's working as you can see. So let's say we want to post a video to Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. And to begin, we're gonna change the canvas size so the aspect ratio is all wrong and this is one of the biggest things you need to change. The 60 by nine aspect ratio will fit on Instagram but it's nowhere near the best aspect ratio to have when it comes to getting the most engagement out of your post. So I'm gonna click on the canvas size drop down menu and here we have a lot of different aspect ratios for different social media platforms. And we're just gonna choose the square one by one or you can choose the four by five portrait post, but for now we're just gonna choose the square one. So as you can see, we now have a square video and the first thing I'm going to do is actually click and drag this down and resize the video on the square video canvas so I have room for a title. So just to save time for this video, I'm actually gonna add the title and it's just going to be Instagram. First of all, I'm gonna change the layout. I'm gonna change the font to Anton. I'm gonna change the color to white. I'm gonna change the font size to 96. I'm going quite fast here just to save time, but you hopefully will still understand how this all works. I'm gonna click and drag to resize the title on my canvas. About there, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna drag my video back up. Now we're gonna change the background color and I'm gonna change it to this pink right here. Now what I want to do is add some captions or some subtitles to my video. So to do this, I'm gonna hover over to the subtitle tab, click on it, and then we're going to be using the auto subtitle tool. So if I click on the auto subtitle tool, select the language that we're speaking in and click on start. Now subtitles are automatically generated from the video's audio and turned into subtitles. So as we can see, if I click play, hey everyone, Alec here with V. We have some subtitles. Now the first thing you notice is that the first one is wrong. This is because I mentioned my name and Veed's name and Veed often makes mistakes on names. So I'm just going to quickly edit this. So it's Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed. And in this video, there we go. So the first subtitle was a bit off, but if we have a look at the others, they're all correct. If I click play, I'm going to be showing you how to permanently add subtitles to your videos, just like these ones. Okay, perfect. Now what I am gonna do is actually change the styling of these subtitles because these will be hard coded onto the actual video because Instagram doesn't accept subtitles as an SRT file. So if I click on the style tab right here, what I'm actually going to do is click on the advanced tab and we're going to change the block color we're going to change it to the pink and then we're going to reduce the opacity down to 50 percent and there we go this is my video for instagram here with veed and in this video i'm going to be showing you so once i'm happy with it i can go ahead and click on the download button in the top right and then it will render my video and i'll be able to download it but i'm going to show you how you can start editing it for the next platform so i've named this project instagram and now what i'm going to do is use the duplicate project button and the next platform we're going to be targeting is TikTok. And now the first thing I'm going to change again is the video canvas. So on TikTok, it's the nine by 16 aspect ratio, which is the same aspect ratio as Instagram stories. Again, we're gonna use the canvas size drop down menu and we're gonna scroll down all the way to nine by 16 TikTok. So I select this and as you can see, it's automatically resized. So first of all, I'm going to change the title again to TikTok just to give it a little bit of difference. Perfect, like this, click and drag. I can use the arrow keys to gently bump it around on the video canvas. Perfect, like this, click and drag these around. And then I'm gonna drag my video all the way down to the bottom. I could leave a little bit of space for hey everyone at the subtitles, but there's the username and everything else at the bottom when you post it to TikTok. So I still need to raise them a bit in my opinion. And then there we go, I've quickly done it for TikTok. And again, I can just click the download button and then I can render my video and download it and then post it to TikTok. And again, for the last time now, I'm gonna duplicate the project and this time we're going to be doing it to Facebook. So here again, we're gonna change the canvas size using the canvas size drop down menu. And we're gonna choose the Facebook landscape video. So it's kind of this um, condensed landscape one. It's not the normal 16 by nine, it's the five by four. 
And first thing again, we're going to change is the header text. So I could change this to Facebook. I'm going to change the font size. There we go. Perfect. And now I'm just going to adjust this again, click and drag it around. There we go. Or what I could do is I could write Facebook, please watch like this. Okay. Select it. And then we drag it out like this, place it here, resize it a tiny bit. There we go move it around and then I can adjust my video, bring my video up, bring my video down. And then this time, because Facebook accepts SRT files, what we can do is actually go into the subtitles tab, click on the options tab and then download SRT file. And then we have the subtitle file actually downloaded. And what we can do is actually go down on the options tab, delete all subtitles, and this time click on the download button to render our video without the subtitles hard coded in because we're gonna be adding them as SRT files along with the video when it comes to Facebook. And that is how to easily and quickly edit one video for multiple social media platforms using Veed. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And with that being said, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.